Okay, welcome guys. Here for another review of some of my gear and so forth I'm using in my room. Okay, so we're going to cover my headset, which is the probably well heard of, as you can see on the picture. Let me see if I can find another picture. Yeah, this one. Okay, so the Razer Tiamat 7.1 yeah, surround sound elite gaming headset. Okay, with a little mic hidden in there. Alright, so I'm going to cover the comfort, sound quality, mic quality, you know, software and other bits and bobs that you need with it or so forth. Okay, the packaging, and I don't need to cover, Razer packaging is always really, really damn good. It looks, it's such a cool package, right, but you're not really too fussed about it. It's great for five minutes, then you don't really play about with it anymore. All right, so, headset, first getting it, you think, Jesus, it looks quite damn big. Yeah, it's huge, but it's it needs to be huge. It needs the comfort padding, you know, it needs the big big padded areas you know to block out sound so you can focus on so it's a lot comfier right it needs that kind of bit so it's a one size fits all there's no adjusting you know annoying just this is a one size fits all and it is so comfortable it seems a bit heavy at first right obviously because of all the extra stuff inside it and uh, the padding it seems a bit heavy but you know man up get a stronger neck you'll be all right it, you don't feel it after a little while you you, you barely even notice it because it's just so damn good the sounds uh the sound is so crisp but it's only crisp if you get a 7.1 sound card you need a sound card to use this uh headset okay if you don't have a 7.1 sound card you are not going to get anything from this headset whatsoever this is meant to be true 7.1 surround sound it needs the audio quality in your PC to be able to match what this can do okay you also get the little if you can see that you get a little like adjuster so you can adjust everything you know front speaker left speaker subwoofer mic everything so you can like turn it to a certain bit you can adjust the sound like adjust the sound adjust the sound so you can turn it to all different bits adjust everything you can turn it from 7.1 to 2 uh to where is it that'll be like a just left and right your 2.0 uh, you turn the mic off and mute it turn it on so you can see that green light to red light uh, so yeah so you can do a lot with it uh it's do the yeah basically have it i don't know what that does uh I never really use that actually, uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's very easy to do, and it's all right there. You don't need to piss about with anything. It's very, very straightforward. Okay, main problems: the mic. The mic's terrible. Yeah, obviously the mic is terrible. I mean, you can tell. You can probably tell it is going to be terrible. Look at it. You can just tell it's not going to be anything. So what you can do, you just fold it away and never have to use it again, and get yourself a blue Yeti mic because that's actually really damn bloody good. That is the coolest thing ever. Is that mic? But the sound quality is what you're bothered about. Obviously, the speakers are inside. You can see on the picture itself where the speakers are. If there's a close-up, you can see in there uh, inside. Okay, the sound quality is unbelievable. It's so good. Uh, down, make sure you downloaded all the stuff. Uh, make sure it's all calibrated. And now it takes two seconds. Make sure you sort it out with all the razor. Uh, but it's the best audio quality you'll ever have. Ever. It's so good but if you don't have that sound card you're gonna miss out on so much I mean I play Skyrim a lot I play a lot of Battlefield I play a lot of RPGs I play a lot of every kind of game you know I done all Bioshock Infinite with it I played about 100 hours on Skyrim with it and I've done about 150 hours of Battlefield with it you know I, I've done many games with this headset you know Diablo 3 I just did about 90 hours with it uh, and Wow, going from this one to my other headset, which also, funnily enough, was 7.1 surround, which I'll get right now for you. So, I had this USB, the Logitech G930, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, these were really good, very, very good, but I had them for a couple of years. You can see state of the leather. Uh, but even though these are meant to be 7.1 also, Going to the Razer ones, I mean, look at the size difference for Christ's sake. Uh, look, going from the 7.1 to the, from these to the 7.1 from them, phew, a whole different ball game, yeah? 
absolutely unbelievable the difference that has plunked them on the floor unbelievable the difference in quality uh, from any headset I've seen used or whatever these are a must buy but also you must buy the sound card like I keep repeating yeah I need to drill that in uh, get what I've had to just order uh, because my Asus like if you see my Asus don't get the Asus Phoebus sound card get the creative uh, let me see creative duh, 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 duh. if it'll just come up <laughs> yeah so if it's the titanium HD um, even on the site itself the razor site itself it recommends get the creative sound blast that that one that that's completely compatible with it it's got all your slots there because uh, as I'll show you now <laughs> duh, 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 duh. Because, obviously, this being a true 7.1, it goes, that's that's from the back of the headset, yeah? So you've got your USB, and you've got all your ports, you know, your mic in, your mic out, your sub, your left, right speaker, and everything else like that. So, you need the sound card, yeah? Because if you ain't got the sound card, you, you, half of these you're not going to be able to plug in properly, or even if you do, the sound quality on your motherboard is not going to be high enough for the sound, uh, the actual headset to work correctly All right so very good investment for a headset if you're you know fine with money because obviously you've got to get the headset and you've got to get the uh, sound card itself in my eyes i think it's worth it but it is a lot of money because one you got to if you want a great audio you've got to get the card the headset a very good mic it's all the elements but it's on you how much of a of a hardcore dedicated gamer you are or if you're whatever you're into but i'm saying as a headset the these are fantastic i mean 154 is definitely not the most expensive headset you can get but like i said the extra money comes from a sound card but if you are going nuts on a headset anyway you should have a, a really good sound card or any kind of sound card anyway and most of them are up to 100 pounds no matter what right, so yeah all in all really good headset Terrible microphone, right? <laughs> but they're so comfy and the, the, you just feel in the zone and you can't hear anything. Like People can knock on my door or I've had the fire alarm actually going off in my block uh, on my army camp and I didn't actually hear it for ages. I, I was like so involved, I didn't really hear it properly. So yeah, they, you, they probably kill you in the end of the day if you can't hear nothing. But if you want to block everything out in the world, then they're the headsets to go for. All right, so yeah, definitely. All right, so good. All right, that's another review done. So I've been drinking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thank you very much.